cars on the corner running to this hospital. They were running to this hospital because they just carried two brothers out of a out of a hallway into this hospital to try to save their lives. Hundreds and hundreds of police officers are standing here today because their hearts tell them they have to be here because they feel like they're alone. We got to end that here today. Our hearts are broken. We're in shock. Our knees are buckling. And we're angry because we've been here before. We're angry because we saw it coming. We're angry because we said it was going to happen and it happened again. So tonight, you know, these police officers aren't going to sleep. They're going to be out in the street. They're going to do what they need to do. The ones that go home are going to put their heads on their pillow and they're not going to sleep. And they're going to cry. Well, it's time the city cried with us and we know they are. But you know what? We stand shoulder to shoulder by the tens of thousands to, to, to shoulder our brother. We carried our brother here. We'll shoulder him out this evening. We'll stand in the hallway and we'll pray for a family that's hoping their son, their husband, they come home. But it can't be just us. Yes, we will stand patch to patch and bury our brother. We will bow our heads in sadness. But we need you to. The streets can't just be full of New York City police officers at this funeral. The public.